What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? Woodsman never did much reading anyway. Son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad! You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. We heard someone crying. Oh, the boy stubbed his toe on the bed frame is all. It stinks, you know, but it's nothing to kick up a fuss about. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, it's all. I have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? Your lock's busted, too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. You bleeding? Why, is that? It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog.
that mope blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? If you're gonna say something, out with it. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Could do a better job dusting, or no? So what happened? What happened? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Oh, I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. But like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? It's been the hottest summer in years, Toad. So why would you be making a fire? Stay in this place for more than a spell and a drought will make you think you're in a sodding tantra. I, I look it odd, so what's the fuss? I thought toads can dry out. No, mate. You're thinking of lizards. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight. And I don't know why you cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not! And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I... No, there's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. The new uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I live a tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? But you wouldn't need keys since the lock's broken. So why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Big B, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... They're sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. 
Not yet. No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? I cut me end. I broke the lamp. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window. But he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. What did you tell him? Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? 